Okay, welcome to day seven of food storage, surviving off of food storage. Tonight we're going to have some corn dogs. Really this meal would be one of the very first meals I would be making because hot dogs obviously aren't going to be in food storage or long-term food storage. So there would be items that would be out of the freezer or out of the fridge if you still have power or electricity. So we're making the batter. It's going to be a cup of pancake mix. Two tablespoons of cornmeal, one tablespoon of sugar, and then we mix that together really good. So we're going to mix the egg. I've got my egg already reconstituted or rehydrated. I'm going to pour my water into that. It's two thirds of water and one egg. And then I'm just going to pour that in my batter. Just get it mixed. And this is going to put a lot of bubbles into it. So we'll want to put it in the fridge after we get it all mixed up. We'll want to put it into the fridge for about 10 minutes. All right, so as you can see, that's pretty pasty, but we'll just put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes. Let it settle. Let it get the bubbles out. Then we'll dry the hot dogs, roll them in the batter, put them in the oil to fry. I'll bring you over there as soon as I, after 10 minutes. Okay, so here's the hot dogs all dried and the batter that sat in the fridge for 10 minutes. And then I have the oil turned on and started because you're pretty much supposed to just dip these bad boys, throw them right in. I don't want to set them onto a plate and get them all stuck and take the batter off. So I'm going to wait for my oil to get hot and then I'll dip them. Okay, so here's my attempt number one. Looks pretty awful. And I think it's because I don't have enough oil for the, uh, so the corn dog's sticking to the bottom of the pan. Not a good thing, but I don't really have a better option. So I'm going to keep it on the stick when I put the batter on it 